Uh, my name is Frank Ubel. I in was in the Williams class of 1985. Uh, he, him, his. And what was the last question, Mike? Uh, location. Oh, here we are. We're in uh, uh, Clayton, Missouri, which is a suburb of uh, St. Louis. Uh, this is the most dynamic uh, and uh, uh, populous uh, neighborhood that we're in. So I am, uh, I am a serial entrepreneur. So all too much uh, work is a hobby. And I realize that that is a problem. But I'm also uh, involved in an entrepreneur, entrepreneur's organization called EO. And uh, that takes up uh, a good part of my time as well. Great, thank you so much. Tamir and I also go for walks, uh, et cetera. Do you, do you have a favorite location to walk in town? Uh, for me, it is uh, Wydown Boulevard or Forest Park. What's, what's special about Forest Park? Uh, Forest Park is the largest uh, urban park, bigger than Central Park, and it's in meticulously cared for and cultivated. The landscaping is absolutely beautiful. So I am uh, the co-founder of Clementine's Creamery. My official title is Chief Experience Officer. So I uh, in in charge of all customer touch points, whether it's at the retail locations, uh, online, or part of our catering business as well. Awesome. And how, how did you come into sort of Clementine's as, like, what was the inspiration for Clementine's? So the inspiration for Clementine's is, was my, uh, is my fiance. And uh, what her experience in her childhood was that ice cream changed her world. And she wanted to bring that joy and happiness uh, to other people as well. It's really beautiful. It's, it's always nice to see work really tie into the personal uh, life of people. Um, that's a very, very personal um, connection there. So thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. We uh, obviously uh, uh, are very proud of uh, the charities we pursue. Uh, we are uh, very much support the LGBTQ community. Uh, just came off of Pride Month. We do a, a Pride waffle cone in uh, all six Pride colors, and uh, give half of those uh, of those sales to uh, Vivent, which uh, is uh, helps uh, people living with AIDS. Great, thank you very much. Uh, that's that's a very noble cause and very timely. So thank you very much for sharing that. Um, so. We, we do like to tie back, um, you know, the Williams experience into what people are doing now. So is there any particular Williams experience, uh, either an event or a class or professor that really resonated with you and has impacted, you know, how you see yourself or engage within your community or work? I think to my mind, the most striking thing about my Williams experience was the caliber of people that I was exposed to uh, on a daily basis. And really my fellow students, uh, I, uh, uh, I was a very social person, and uh, that was a big part of my identity and, and personal growth uh, in my uh, early adult life. I'm looking out a, a window and I see water. It could a large body of water, uh, ideally a lake or an ocean, but a river will do in a pinch. Of water soothes my soul. Nice. Is there any particular, like, can you think of any particular body of water that really resonates with you? So the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the barrier islands of South Carolina, specifically Kiowa Island. Nice. Thank you for sharing. That's that's really nice. I, I similarly really enjoy water, um, although I'll be ending up in the mountains after this whole project, which is a story for a different time. Where are you going? Um, Colorado. Florissant, oh, Colorado. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll be up there for the fall semester or fall season. Um, oh, really? Doing outdoor education work with a bunch of little kids. So it'll be cool. Really fun. Uh, so the most joy I've experienced uh, in any of my businesses is working with and mentoring uh, younger people and watching them grow. That is personally very satisfying. Here at the ice cream shop, I mean, we hire people as young as 15 years old and uh, they come back summer after summer through high school, through college. And it's such a proud moment for us when they get their first job. 
So it would be uh, to my grandfather. His uh, name was also uh, Frank Ubel, and my father's name is Frank Ubel as well. And he really, he was a self-made man. He grew up uh, impoverished on a farm in Southern Ohio. Uh, he moved to the big city of Cleveland and pulled himself up by his bootstraps. Uh, eventually uh, became a minor uh, Democratic politician and Speaker of the House of Representatives uh, for the state of Ohio. But uh, he uh, made it possible for my dad to go to Williams College, and that's how I got there as well. Thank you very much, Frank. It's been a true pleasure chatting with you. And Thanks, really Mike. Excited to try out Clementine. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. My hands aren't yeah. like. Uh, I move your hands. Uh, yeah, they are. So you'll need right. to keep them down. Cool. <laughs> Great. Just yeah. perfect. Yeah.